RS is on or receive the signal strength indicator is a measurement of how well a receiver can hear a signal from the transmitter when there is control problem with T12D transmitter, such as short control range, signal loss, please test the RS sign. It is also recommended to test RS sign before the flight in order to avoid loss of control due to signal problems. And how to test RS sign? I will show it with T12D transmitter and R12F receiver. And first, turn on the transmitter and then power on the receiver at the same time. Clear the battery to any one channel of the receiver. Make sure the polarity is now reversed. We can see the secret on the screen of T12D because I have already bound the receiver to the transmitter. After a successful band, the RSSI can be seen on the home screen. And the RSSI will keep changing according to the distance between the transmitter and the receiver. And to make the receiver antenna and the transmitter receiver antenna parallel, and keep transmitter apart from receiver about 30 centimeters, then check RSSI value and I put them on the desk to show it. And it is normal that RSSI value is within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm when the distance between the transmitter and receiver is 30 centimeters. And the closer the value is to 0, the stronger the signal is. We can see the RSSI value is about minus 22 dBm in about 30 centimeters distance, which is within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm and the RSS value is stable. So there is no problem with signal transmission. And the range of RSS value of Breedlink transmitter is from zero to minus 99 dBm. The larger the absolute value of the RSS value is, the weaker the signal is. For example, the signal when the RSS value is minus 80 dBm is weaker than the signal when the RSS value is about minus 16 dBm. If the RSS value is not within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm in about 30 centimeters distance, there is something wrong with the signal transmission. Please check whether the antenna of the receiver and the transmitter are damaged, especially the transparent part in the top of the antenna. Here it is. And most of signal degradation is caused by receiver antenna damage. If the receiver antenna is damaged, it needs to be replaced and if there is no damage, you can test whether it is a failure of the transmitter or the receiver by replacing the receiver. And if RSSI is within the range of 0 to minus 30 dBm in 30 centimeters distance and the antenna is not damaged but the control range is short, there are some possible reasons for the problem on the screen. So that's all about how to test RSSI with T12D transmitter and receivers.